football fans, and welcome. We've got a Thursday matinee on the show. It's the Washington Nationals going up against the Pittsburgh Pirates. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. One down. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Arthur Ridley. Ridley. This to center field. Stevens settles under it. And puts the squeeze on that one. Two away down. Batting four. The first baseman. Rowdy Teller. Now it's going to be Eric Stevens. There's a buzz in the stadium every time he comes to the plate as he tries to extend his hitting streak. Ground ball up the middle. Oh, great grab on the dive. And they get the out. So two down. And now the center fielder, James Wood. Hitless in the series so far. He's 0 for 7. And that one in the air center field. Stevens brings it in with a nice running grab. Nationals leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Two outs, nobody on. At the play, Eric Stevens. He's 0 for 1. And every at bat's a big one for him now as he looks to keep this amazing hitting streak going. And first offering is fouled off. And the righty deals. And that one fouled off. And a pitch. Lined, and that's a base hit. Now and with every First hit that hit. extends his streak, he climbs higher on the all-time list. Rarely has anyone gone this far. Yeah, Boog, 30 is about as far as most guys can take it, and he's just blown by that mark, and now it actually looks like 40 might be in play. I'll tell you this, as a hitter, it's so hard to not let that weigh on you. Every game, you're going out there trying to get it out of the way as soon as possible so that you can focus on the game. Makes it a little tough to relax at the plate. Stevens, the runner at first with two gone. Pickoff throw, and he's back in easily. And a 2-1 on the way. And there he goes. Swing and a miss. Throw to second, and great jump. Well, he picked over once just before the pitch to check on him, but that didn't seem to slow up his jump on the pitch at all. I think that guy's been studying some video. Awesome job to be prepared. Got the timing down, and he gets into scoring position. Comes a 2-2. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. Got it by him for the K. So a great inning there as they bat around to score six times to open up the lead. We play two full. It's the Pirates six and the Nationals nothing. Trey Sweeney digging in for the Nationals. The designated hitter, Trey Sweeney. Glass now, ready and deals. In the air, center field. Stevens under it. Hauls it in, and there's one away. The center fielder, number seven, James Wood. Eric Stevens, the next pirate to hit. Showed a really nice opposite field approach in his last at bat. 
this is a true five-tool guy. Not very many of them out there, but when he's on the field, you can't take your eye off of him. Into center and a base hit. He was all over that one. So impressive that he was able to fight off that fastball up and in like that. I mean, he really let it get deep on him as well. That's great bat control. Here's Bobby Dahlbeck. A strikeout and a walk. Off the mark there. Two balls and a strike. Fans come to the ballpark to watch him play. And in baseball, to have such a talented player going out there every day and putting on the show that he does, just a joy to watch. Swing and a bouncer. Arcia tosses to first. That's the third out. So one left for Pittsburgh, and they hold a 7-0 lead. And welcome back. Top of the sixth inning. And now up for Washington, Hebert Ruiz. Ruiz. Out there to center. Stevens under it. Puts it away for the out. Now batting. Second base. Now at the plate, James Wood. Well, no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things. It makes the slump even longer. Never seems to help. Never helped me. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. And that's the inning. So one left for Washington. They continue to trail 7-0. So one out with two aboard. Next, it's the Pirates cleanup hitter, Eric Stevens. Good swing out of him last time. Ripped a liner in the center. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Garcia, around third. One run is in. Senzel coming home. He scores as well. And they now lead by nine. He's in there. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Really nice job to take that inside pitch and pull it into the gap. He could have easily spun off of it or just been tied up. He stayed short to the baseball, and he was thinking triple right out of the box. On the mound now, Jackson Rutledge. Coming on to face a righty bat, and they've had quite a bit of success against him this year. Jackson Rutledge. Up next for the Pirates, Bobby Dahlbeck. Righty delivers. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count, get the guy in the box on his heels, and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Kicks and deals. And a count one and two. The pitch. Oh. Activity in the Washington bullpen. Eric Ullman appears to be getting loose. Stevens at third with two away. Swings and misses. Good job at damage control right there. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Pirates nine and the Nationals nothing. So digging in, Eric Stevens. A chance for more damage right here. A couple of RBIs for him in his last A-B. 
He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports too. Lifted in the air, right center field. Wood drifts towards it. Calls it in, two away. Now batting, the first baseman, Bobby. I'd say these guys really needed to win this game today. It pushed them over the top to win the series, which is great. But when you go on the road, going into some hostile territory, you want to have a lot of confidence, and you want to be feeling really good about how you're playing, as well as to your left and your right, your teammates, that they're on track as well. 11-0 your final score. 